Hey guys, welcome back and this is my new video on how to install Hydrogen OS 3.0 firmware update. Uh, this is the latest version of Hydrogen OS which is uh, released by OnePlus today and uh, it is uh, officially we have not got any change logs but I have got the file and uh, it is both for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. If you guys want to try for OnePlus 3 also, you guys can uh, download the files from description below I have mentioned both the files and uh, description I have mentioned both the files in the description for oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t so I'll be showing you on oneplus 3t and we'll just take a look uh, what exactly uh, how does it look like and what are the changes in that to start with that to make sure you guys have a TWRP recovery installed I have not tried with the official recovery but Yes, I already have a TWRP recovery installed. So I'll give a try with the TWRP recovery. Uh, so I have downloaded the files and uh, I'll show you the files where I have placed those files. I go to internal memory and here it is hydrogen. This is the official ROM uh, by OnePlus and the date uh, build date is uh, of 17th Feb. And to root, I have also, I'll be rooting this uh, same. So I have also kept a super user file and Hydrogen OS doesn't come with the Google Play Store so I have the Google installer and the Google Play Store APK. So we'll just check it out uh, if we are able to uh, install Google Play Store in uh, Hydrogen OS. We'll start with that now we'll reboot to recovery first. So after your device boots into recovery just try to locate the files where you have uh, in, uh, placed this uh, hydrogen uh, OS files so here you can see I have both the files super user and uh, hydrogen OS so first I'll do one thing I'll just do a factory reset uh, so that I don't get any errors go back and then I install hydrogen OS You can see in this it says uh, 1702 so that is uh, second month of 2017 and the date is uh, 17 Feb. So it hardly took uh, a minute to get completed so we'll wipe caches once and we'll reboot the system. Make sure guys uh, first boot may take some time so we have to wait uh, for the device to reboot. And it uh, hardly took much time uh, to reboot so now what we do is we'll just set up uh, and you can see you have uh, English language here in this room so we click on next and uh, I am not getting here the name of the operator so we'll see we'll just uh, go forward I'll connect I'll do a setup wizard and after that uh, we'll show you what are the changes so guys after setup wizard has been completed you can see uh, it is uh, same uh, look of hydrogen OS I'll just go to settings and it is still based on 7.0 but hydrogen version it is version 3.0 and security patch is still for of December 1 last year we'll try to check whether uh, what are the change logs uh, it shows if okay we'll see here and it doesn't shows the change logs uh, but I don't know what are the changes in this uh, we'll get to know if we start using it pocket mode is uh, there in this we'll check out whether fingerprint is working or not And yes, fingerprint is working perfect. 
no issues with the fingerprint so we'll ignore on fingerprint as of now and you can see the normal apps weather app calendar gallery and everything is there camera camera still works fine yes there is no issue with the camera then it has in stock browser and the market application of Chinese variant in this uh, few Chinese apps are there but uh, we'll see whether we can clear them or not uh, no we can't yes few apps you can uninstall but uh, market app I think I need to disable that app first so now I'll be showing you how to install Google Apps, uh, Google Play Store on the uh, Hydrogen OS. So for that guys, uh, you need to have these two files which I have already downloaded and mentioned in the uh, description below. Download these files and uh, while installing uh, Google Installer uh, or Google Play Store, you'll get an error for that I have downloaded an extra file which will be able to bypass that uh, error which we are getting while installing Google Apps so guys uh, for that uh, you need to install so you need to install google installer so we enable unknown sources here go back and again uh, install so it sh now we'll open this and here you need to click start option it is uh, all in chinese so you can just follow the video instructions So here you'll be getting uh, error while installing Google Play services. So if you install Google Play services and if I click on install, it will see uh, it will show an app not installed. The package uh, appears to be corrupted. So we click on done here and we go back to the files where we have the files and I have downloaded the separate file of uh, Google Play services I'll click here and install and I go back to the same application after that application is done I think this will bypass this uh, Google Play service installation process see you can see it has bypassed now we'll install uh, Google Calendar done and now we have uh, Google uh, contact sync now it will install Google Play Store so now you have uh, installed all your Google uh, requirements Google app requirements to sync applications uh, to sync your contacts and your calendar so now you just open it and complete the setup wizard I'll just add my account and uh, get back to you guys So now I have uh, already uh, completed my setup wizard and uh, used my Google account. So I click on next and uh, it says uh, could not sign in. So there's a problem with this. If we, if you guys are facing such problem, go back and download this, uh, install this Google Play Store. It says cannot be installed. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll re reboot the device once. So after device reboots, we'll again try to uh, open Google Play Store. I'll just sign in once more. So now it uh, after the reboot, it successfully uh, opens Google Play Store. Now we'll update the Google Play services so that we won't have any kind of issue while downloading uh, any applications. You can see everything is getting downloaded now. So this is the method uh, to show you guys how to install uh, Google application and install Hydrogen OS on the OnePlus 3T. The same method you can follow on OnePlus 3 also. Uh, I have mentioned the links in the description below. So after everything is done. Uh, so now we'll see what are the customization options available here. So if you go to customize this is uh, 
same as uh, what we had in this one uh, oxygen os 4.0.3 and here you have only two icon packs that is the light one and uh, folio so nothing much in this and rest i have told you everything is working fine and if you guys want to remove these chinese uh, applications you can go to applications uninstall these apps if you are not able to uninstall just disable uh, the applications it will be done and if you are not able to uh, get the contacts here go to settings go to account okay i'll just show you uh, not in the accounts you need to go to applications and search for google calendar uh, google contact sync after that you need to give permission here and select always allow after this just reboot your device once after rebooting i think you will get all the contacts because uh, i have tried so i won't be showing now so that's all in the video guys review will be doing it uh, tomorrow or uh, day after tomorrow because i'll be using this room and uh, which is uh, one of my favorite room so thanks for watching my video guys uh, if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give thumbs up thank you